Hi everyone, my name's Declan McGlynn. Welcome to Friday Forum Live. Point Blank's weekly broadcast bringing you exclusive tutorials, artist interviews and industry insight every Friday live from East London. Today we are diving deeper into Tractor to show you how to create and work with native instruments and new format stems. So today we are joined by Point Blank instructor David Clark to look at how to use stems in Tractor and how to create your own using the stem creator. If you want to learn more about Tractor, stems and DJ in general, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com and make sure you subscribe to our channel using the button below this video. And remember we are completely live so get your questions in the chat and we'll get to them at the end of the broadcast. David, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine, how are you? Very well. Thanks for having me so, back after last time. Yes, did. <laughs> so we were chatting for a long time this morning. A long time. My throat might be a bit stems. rough yeah. now. <laughs> so we'll try and condense it down a bit for the guys. Sure. Um, so just quickly, a brief overview. What is stems? Okay, so stems is something that was created by Native Instruments, but can be used throughout. And it is five files, the master, and then four stems, how you what, what you want, whether it be yeah. bass, uh, drums, vocals, and melody and they're compressed into an MP4 file and then put through a creator tool and then they can use it on the new updated tractor as a stems file, which means you can play it as one normal song or you can then manipulate each individual part you've got. Right. That so is you, that right, in a cool. nutshell. So you can like pull out the kick drum or just have the acapella. Exactly. Whatever. Would you like me to show you? Please do. <laughs> so I've got a track here. Um, as you can probably see on down here, I can have it so it looks just like a normal track. So it's all one wave. And if I press here on the S8, I've got up here drums, bass, melody, and box. So what I can do, I can just cut out the drums. Now this is different to EQing because EQing just takes out certain frequencies yeah. but will never completely remove it. Whereas this is now overriding, this is completely 100% cut. So I can put the drums back in whenever I want. I can take the bass out, melody, box, just have the drums. So what's really cool about this is the fact that you can do completely live remixes on the fly, live mashups, and is absolutely fantastic for live. Cool. And this is the essay. I mean, this is kind of, this came out before stems were announced. It was, yeah, but that's so because now, they probably had it ready. Yeah, so now <laughs> it makes more sense as a controller. Exactly, yeah. and what they've done is they've created a screen inside, which you've, as you've seen on Point Blank's um, shoots before, they've, you've looked at the S8, and the D2 is exactly the same as this, um, and therefore you've got your screen that shows you all four stems. It's all four stems, and it's worth noting that they're in this, you can see them, but in actual tractor, if you skip over to tractor now, um, you will be able to see the fact that you cannot see those four at all. Right, so it looks the same. It looks exactly the same in the software, so to really take advantage of it, you need a D2 or an SA. Right. Oh, okay. But you can map any controller to the stem. You can completely map any controller. I, again, they've been very open about this, and it's really quite cool. Uh, you can buy any MIDI controller you want with faders or rotaries, or you could even use something on the iPad, you know, like touch OSC, where you can map everything completely, so you can do it like that. Unfortunately, you just lose the um, the visibility Visual of it. Reference. So you have to really know it. Right. So if you wanted to be able to visualize it in the way that we are now, you have to have a D2 or an SA. Yep. Right now. Exactly. Right now. Maybe they'll add it eventually. Hopefully, yeah. or a little screen extra. But at the moment, yeah, you need one of these. All right. Cool. And you can actually like decide how much of the stems are going to the effects section too, can't you? Excellent. Yeah. Basically. So we can assign, um, you see where it says effect sense here, yeah. we've got bass, all these are touch sensitive, so I can have this is on 100%, my effects on, and only effects. So that means that yeah. that stem is getting affected, but you could take it away. Absolutely, well, yeah. yeah, so I can have, for instance, the um, vocals on, Vocalists love a bit of reverb. Um, let's put. Yeah, but it's not affecting the other th three at all. Okay, and then you can just wind down the wet and dry. 
like that. So it sounds oh, quite cool know. as well. Turn it off, turn it off, and yeah. So it's, re it's really, um, really flexible. Yeah. So what's the difference between, because there was remix decks in the past. There still is remix decks, which right. as you know from when I came here and you had me last uh, month, I did the remix overview. Yeah, on the F1. And on the F1, which I, since then especially, I absolutely love them and I've, and I've bought myself some and stuff. But, um, and you'll see on the screen, I've got remix decks and stems. There is slight difference. Obviously, with the remix, you've got 64 pads that you could put 64 songs on, but really it's, it's for samples. So you, again, you could argue, I could just take a loop of four drum beats from this song, put it in, vocals, etc., etc. But what the difference is, is you've got the whole song in one go. So if, for instance, you wanted all the vocals, because vocals are more intricate normally, you'd have to keep putting each section on different pads and remix and remember to trigger them. Right. Whereas this will do it for you and you can just cut in and out. So it, 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 people could argue they're similar, which they are, but I don't think you could argue they're the same because you can, in many ways, this is easier than remix decks for live mashups, but you could still take out the drums and hit drums on the remix deck over here and, and you know, do the same sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it all depends on what your preference is. And if I was to send um, you as a DJ and I've written a song, I'd probably start with stems and go, can you try it like that? Because overall, it's pretty much what I want it to sound like, but then you can do a live remix over the top. Yeah, and stems in the browser, they just look the same in yeah. terms of track, there's no... Exactly, yeah. But you just can't load them on the fly, is that right? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's... Um, so you'll have to analyze them all in advance. You have to analyze them all in advance, and you and again, you treat um, the stems exactly like you would any other song. You have to beat grid them, ensure they are, you know, in the right place. You've got the grids, you've got the hot cues, all that kind of stuff. You treat yeah. it exactly the same, which again is a preference to me over the remix decks, because remix decks, you have to drag in each individual stem, or each individual sample, should I say, and then do it, and then save it, drag it back out, do the next one. So it is a bit more right. finickety where you do the overall, everything then lines up perfectly. And have you found any problems in terms of gridding stems? Because not yet. Okay, right. Not yet. Um, <laughs> not yet. There was one song, actually I had a bit of an issue with the other day, but I put two different grids in, just okay. kind of split the beat, beat grid, um, and it kind of worked. So apart from that, no, at the, at the end of the day, if, um, if we'll have a look in a minute of the stem creator, but as long as everything's lined up perfectly, then you won't have a problem inside um, Tractor. Cool, and it's not just your own music, obviously, you can buy other people's stems as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah that's I've kind managed... of the main point, I guess. Yeah, um, you can be, buy, th buy them off of um, uh, Beatport and Juno downloads and all that kind of stuff. They're slightly more expensive. Um, normally a track would be about a pound, depending on if you bought an MP3, and a stem is around, what I've looked at at the moment, is around pound ninety-four. Okay, it's not Ish. too bad though. Not too bad considering you've got a 10 meg file and now maybe a 40, 50 or 60 meg file. So you have to bear that in mind as well, size. Yeah. So, but it is, I, I like it and it's um, definitely something that I think is going to be the future. Nice one. So if you did want to use your own music, mm -hmm. how would you make a stem? Do you want me to go over to the computer Please and have a look? Please do. Right. What so. a link. <laughs> what a link. <laughs> uh, it's like we made that. So, um, you see that I've got the final stem. Um, I want your rhythm, okay? But if I go over to Ableton now, again, you can use this in any door that you want. So you've got your Logic and your Pro Tools and stuff. I use Ableton. Mm -hmm. I have here a full track um, of vocals and everything by Estelle. Yeah. And what I've done is I've labeled them Vs for vocals, you know, Bs for bass, M for melody, etc., etc. So I've then taken that and I've bounced the whole song and made it into a master, well, the master stem, mm -hmm. with the master file. Then what I've done is I've done it for all individuals as well. So I've done a bass stem, I've done a drums, etc., etc. You can choose whatever you want, by the way. You, yeah. can, you can literally have drums, shakers, you know, if you're just playing an instrumental, you could have something else. So I think that's, that's actually one of the more exciting things is, although Nader's recommendation is bass, melody, vocals, and effects. You can have anything. You can just have anything you want. Exactly. You have four versions of the same thing. Or, or <laughs> say for instance, you're um, really passionate about the drums and what it sounds like, you can have a bass drum, snare drum, hi-hat, 
and, and the rest. And yeah, and everything else. So yeah. you could really manipulate that. So this is, I think, when you when you first get something new, you kind of make it an overall for everyone to understand. Yeah. But then you're going to get people like us who are going to then take it and rip it apart and do something else. So what I've done is um, I've put in the master, the drums, the bass, the melody, and the vocals. So the master has to go in as well. I've put it in here because um, you have to make sure they're all in line. Okay. Okay, that's why I've put it in. So yes, you, you do really. So if I zoom right into the beginning, uh, you'll see that that is exactly the same. Now obviously the master has all the extra bits, so the drums is there, that little bit goes on top there, etc, etc. Um, but they are all perfectly in line and that's really important and I just wanted to bring that up to show you. Okay. Once they're bounced, okay, then what you need to do is you need to download Stem Creator. Now this is really easy to use, even if you're not tech savvy, it's so easy to use. Admittedly, if you've had a whole song yeah, if you and you've bounced all that, then you pretty much know everything <laughs> yeah. else anyway. But um, you download Stem Creator from um, the website and then you will have the folder, which I've got obviously the Ableton files. I've got the stems here. So I will click and drag bass into bass, drums into drums, master into master, etc. Melody into synths and vocals there. And again, I can change this to melody. Okay, so you, again, you can call it what you want. You can change your colors on it if you fancied, you know, whatever you wanted. Okay, then you have your cover art. One thing, just going off the subject slightly, when you download the stems creator, it comes with um, the stems logo. Because as you can probably see, you've got this thing here. So if I load up, if I show you the picture, that's the waveform, hang on. Uh, I did have the picture, I must have got rid of it. Oh no, there it is. So you've got the stems for logo there. So it actually gives you the stems logo and the template to put it into them so oh, okay. everyone knows it is. Um, then you can just drag that in as well. Add your track, artist, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's almost done because the software does it all for you. So it's really simple. The, the last thing is, let's talk about compression. Let's. Okay, so when you do a song in any um, door you want, you always compress and limit the master file at the end so it comes out as radio quality, whatever you want. Obviously, they are not over the top of your bass, your drums, your, your split tracks. So what you try and do is you have to, you have to add um, dynamics into this. So you can see here it's got compressor and limiter on. You've got your input, your wet, dry, your output, all that kind of stuff. Okay, and this is your threshold here. So if I hit my master file, okay, what that will do is that will play up to a certain point here and I will then flick between the two and I will match it, okay. Now obviously you can normally hear it through your headphones and stuff, but you can then drag down your threshold and make the output louder because what they've said and what, to my understanding, um, the compressor will be, when you're playing all the faders up in one go, okay, it will play as the overall song, the master file. The moment you track down one of the um, stems, it will then kick into the native instrument limiter and compressor over the top of them, as far as I'm aware, in real time. So it will bring the volume down slightly for an overall, even though you are missing a track anyway, which obviously brings the volume down, but it will do it in real time. Um, so you have to compensate for that on the software. So it's a matter of bringing the threshold down, flicking between the stem mix and the master mix, and then basically there or thereabouts. It's not 100%, but it's there or thereabouts. Yeah. And then once you've done that, you hit export, okay, and it will become the file you want, which is this MP4 here, which is 40, this one's 46 meg, I've seen 68, I've seen, you know, 40 to 60, 70, that's about right. Yeah, so the compression isn't happening in the stems creator. That's that's just data the tractor reads. As far as I'm or aware, it's yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, if you want, please write in and let me know the difference. The, if it's not right, but that, as far as I'm aware, that's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's quite a complicated situation because the way a master bus compressor reacts will change depending on what's being fed into it. Yeah. Not necessarily the individual compression on each stem. Definitely. It won't sound the same. Uh, no, I, I agree, and I think this is the, you've got to start somewhere. Yeah. I think 
um, with everyone getting on board and doing the stems and actually going, well, actually, when this drops out, I want this. Maybe, maybe they'll put out more afterwards. But I think it's a good start. You know, what, you, what you really are you going to miss on the master bus, normally the compressor and limiter? There, would, there might be more depending on if you use outboards and different stuff like that. So I think they've just tried to compensate for the main thing. And then, um, but I have to say, it, it still sounds good. I've played them through loudspeakers, you know, not just um, little studio ones. And you know, you'll be hard pushed to really hear a huge difference if you've done the threshold right. Yeah. Cool. So what happens when you load it? So once I've loaded it, um, it will go into um, a normal, I'm going to keep on to my playlist just so you know, but you've got, you'll see it here and on, now on the left, once you've updated your tractor, you will get an all stems just like mm -hmm. you get an all remix, okay? So you click this and now all the stems and as you can see by cover art, they're all nice and neat and tidy and they're all there. Now, one thing that we both discovered is you can't just drag it into a file that will say, you can't read it, it needs to be analysed. For some reason, and I don't know whether they'll work on this, you, you have to click on it and analyse first, so this async here. Yep. Then it will analyse it, then you can drag it in. Okay, and I don't know why that happens, but you just, for now, you have to. So anyone who uses them, just be aware of that. Um, and it, obviously it does take a bit longer, because it's five songs technically instead of one. So don't do it on the fly, <laughs> get it prepared in right. advance, okay? Um, and also, you'll notice an option now where it says stem deck. You don't have to change this in advance. If you use, if you drag a stem in, it will ch instantly change it to a stem deck. If you drag a normal track in, it'll instantly change it to a track deck. Okay, okay cool. Yeah, so you have to analyze before and just remember. And can you pitch individual stems like you can on remix decks? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can on here. Actually, I haven't done that too much on these. I know you can on the remix decks, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you, ha you can. I I'd have to have a play with that. Like, I've been looking so much at the actual stems itself. I might have bypassed a little bit yeah. of the functionality <laughs> on this, so sorry about that. But if you, so if, say you have, say you're an Ableton user and you've got a launch pad or push and you're basically want to perform your music out. Um, what's, the, what's the best way to go? Would it be stems or remix decks, do you think? Well, as you can see on my computer, I've got both. Or I'll stick to Ableton, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what we're trying to figure out. So it's like... I think it's a matter of preference. And also, you've got to think about when you go to a club, what are there? What, what is there, sorry? You know, is it going to be... Are you going to have to take your own? If, is there even, like, you know, table space? You know, you've been to some clubs and you're lucky to get a laptop on there. So I think things will develop and change, but it all depends on how it goes, not just... Um, DJ wise, but you know, producers are going to. I think this is a co kind of a combination. You know, where a when Ableton became a really big um, power in the actual producing side as well as the yeah. DJ side, I think this might be a um, you know a middle way ground. But again, I use remix decks. I use stem decks now, and I also use normal decks. I also use CDJs. I also use vinyl. So it all depends on my set and what you're doing, really. Can you? load your own compressor into Stem Creator? Not as far as I'm aware. Right, okay. That's so you can, you can just take a Waves one and stick it in if you prefer that one? No, no there is no option here. Um, oh, because it's actually happening in Tractor. Yeah. There's no option on Stem Sorry, decks. I'm very new to all this, so I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just get that back up, because I'll show you uh, where it is. Okay. There is no option in here to do to anything the compressor, right? other than bypass you know, and output and stuff. Maybe that's, there you go, maybe they'll see this and go, oh, that's a good idea, Declan, I'll have that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, just the interesting thing is, I mean, if you are performing your stuff in Ableton and STEM suddenly makes it so much easier in terms of, I mean, that's what everyone's been saying, Ableton people have been saying, this has already existed, we've been doing this for years in Ableton. So what is the benefit of using STEMs over that? I think, also, don't forget, you've got this other side of people who haven't been using Ableton for years, who don't have, you know, an awesome, you know, the launch pad or the push or whatever. And this is going to be new to them. They're opening up a gateway for, should we say, I don't mean to say, you know, rude or anything, but normal DJs, <laughs> not just producer DJs. You see, so but DJ most DJs. people are normal DJs, right? Sorry, yes. Yeah, I would say that. Pro DJ DJs, not producer DJs, right. who are, you know, there's a lot of DJs I know who don't use Ableton or any other, 
you know, producer software. So this is a, a huge opening for them. You know, I, I've, I've managed to do both and I'm lucky and I, you know, I use the Ableton as well, but maybe I wouldn't use the launch pad if I had this out and about. It, it all depends. I think, like I said, I think it's me trying to meet in the middle, producer DJs, DJ, DJ DJs, you know. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, honestly, all DJs are normal. I'm a DJ, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. one. So Paul Carey's asking, are stems just bounced channels? Yeah. Right, so they're just individual, yeah. Yeah, what, I've, what I did in Ableton is I muted all the non-bass tracks, for instance, and then highlighted them all, um, and then just did a bounce master, um, and then it took out the bass one, and then I, I, I muted them and unmuted the drums, did the same thing. So yeah, they're all just bounced, just like you would bounce your master track. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what, I mean, what is the benefit of using stems over remix decks for your own music, if any? Again, it all depends on what you want to do and how you use it. I think it's going to be, I think some people are going to find some incredible ways of doing it, which everyone does, and some people are going to find it completely useless. Yeah. It really is going to be like that. I like remix decks, but then again, they've been out longer. So we were only talking last month and said we couldn't talk about stems because it wasn't out. And now we're here, you know, four weeks later and we're ready, you know. So I think, I think it's going to be a matter of a bit of evolution on, on it, if that yeah. makes sense. I, I, I personally would try both and then see which one works, but I'm going to be doing both because this sort of thing, you know, comes up a lot. Yeah, nice one. So do you remember we do have a Tractor <laughs> online course that's coming up soon, so look out for that. And uh, unfortunately, we're out of time for today's FFL. Hopefully you got plenty of inspiration for the weekend. And if you want to learn more about DJing and STEMs, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com. And we'll see you next week for another FFL. Cheers.